Hello everyone, let's start the today's session and please like and subscribe the video and we will start with the groups. We can uh, see this like there is, is a group object in this and the group type is there and users are there in this APN. So what we, we do with the group is let me create a new group and let's name it so basically why group is used actually we need to, to group the securities to application to objects to everything actually security should be every object in the APN so we use groups to give the security and we will use groups to like define the positions of our users and various other tasks we need to do with the groups in your application also like there are some developers there are some designers there are some approvers in the applications so uh, these are the different positions in a uh, application building project in way in a, any organization there are different positions so if we select the users uh, what privileges we need to give to that user and we made groups so these are the use of group in this application and let's name this a description is not necessary and we can select the parent group but uh, there is no parent group for now and let's create the group directly without selecting any parent group and let's create it group members you can give it from here I'll select my name because I'm the admin and I'll give myself admin privileges to every object and let's create it And now the group is created so it is asking for the permission it is asking for the group permission let's give the name of the group which we have created now okay so we can only select the admin privileges in the group security because there is no option to select other security and one more thing we need to uh, like we need to do correctly is the naming convention of every object in the application like in this i use test Whoever I will add in this group, then it will be the admin of the application. You can see this. My name is there in this test admin and in this all user, there is no name. So let's add some member in this also. Maybe there are some members. This is a group to add, users to add. Let's search other users. So these two users I have added in this all users. Okay, so you can see this now. So these are two groups. Like we will use this group test admin whenever we want it to give the admin privileges. And this is the all user group. Whenever we want it to give the privileges of view so what about these like uh, what are these privileges admin is basically there are three three types of I'll show you wait first let's let's give the security of this application of this group so you can see this there is warning showing because the name is direct name is there actually we don't have to use any direct user in this we always use groups So for group creation, we will always only give admin permission. So now these are the two groups which we have created with the admin permissions. And the admin users are there. So uh, you know that all users, the test admin is Akshay. And Akshay should be in this test all user because Akshay is also a user. So what we need to do is we need to add parent of test admin go to this properties and parent I need to select the parent group test all users because Akshay is also included in all users you can see this now this is a flat view when we go to the hierarchical view now then it will go inside this so you can see this Akshay is already added into this all user because whatever 
uh, whatever privileges is in these all users, then Akshay can also inherit those. And when we click on the test admin, then this is inside it because now this is the parent folder for this. It is the parent group, you can say. So like this only, we use parent and child relationships. And now the groups are created. Let me tell you about the folders. So why folders is used? Because we cannot put everything in this application and designer in this, at the same place. We need to group and to group the objects we use is these folders. So there are some options available. Rule folders, process model folder, document folder, knowledge center. So rule folder is basically whenever we created a rule object, whenever we created any rule or expression, we use this rule folder. When we use, when we create a process model, then we put this in the process model folder. When we create a document means like we uploading something, we are having some images, we are having some documents, so then we use this document folder. And knowledge center is like, in this knowledge center, we created the document folder. So this is the parent for this document folder. I'll show you in other application also. This is the other application. This is a flat view. And let me go to the hierarchical view. You can see this. This is the process model folder. Process model is there. This is the rule and expression folder. Constraints are there. Interfaces are there. Rules are there. Because interfaces is also kind of rule. We can access the interface by using a rule convention. I'll show you later. And in a knowledge center, we are having folders, images folders, uploading folder, ideas folder. So in the ideas, you can say these are some files. These are some folder and inside this folder, there are some Excel files. So these are the type we use as folders. So this is the way of using folders and in this also, there are these groups, all users and inside all users. There are admin and some other groups are also there. L1, L2 approvers. Let's go to our application back. And let's create a folder. I'll create the rule folder because we are going to start with the interfaces. So our application name is test application. So what I'm doing is I'm using this naming convention. I'm using this prefix test in the starting of every folder and every whatever objects we created. We use these prefix like this. You can see these others. Okay, so this is the test rule and expression. description you can give description whatever you want and you create it security now you can see this these are the two warnings are coming there so now you can see this these are the permissions admin permission admin permission is basically we can create application we can create objects we can delete we can change whatever we wanted to do we can deal with the admin privileges and if the editor permission is given to us then we can work with the objects, we can and do many things, but we cannot delete it and we cannot modify the objects. And viewer is viewer. When we give the viewer access, then we can only view the objects. We can only go through that. We can only open it. We can see whatever inside these objects. And we cannot do any change. So this is the viewer. And deny, you can, the name suggests itself. Deny means deny the permission to a specific user or whatever group we wanted to deny it. So this is the admin we are giving to test admin. And viewer we will give to test all users because all users can view the application or objects which we are creating. 
so our roles and expression folder is created let me create another role folder of interface interface just interfaces now the folder is created you can also see in kl view and flat view let's use this because it shows the proper scheme of everything and now we will create interface so we will talk about the interfaces later in the next video so in this video we have covered our agenda and we will see other things in the next video till then practice the apn part and go to the apn community explore it and go to the apn documentation if needed link is in the description box and other links are also in the description box you can go through it and see you in the next video bye bye